Hey all, today I'm going to give my thoughts on the Fight Light Herring Model 2024 Tactical Lever Action. Let's get into it. Now if you like this content, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out, helps me cut the YouTube algorithm, plus doesn't cost anything. Now, down below there is coupon codes for the company that helped me out. So, the Fight Light 2024 Lever Action. Um, kind of puts the modern lever action market uh, up a notch. Uh, tactical lever actions, modern lever actions are kind of a fad right now. I have here my 1894 SPL Marlin that I'm debating uh, restarting my tactical lever gun project on. But um, anyway, so um, what this rifle is, is basically it's an AR lower, but instead of being semi-automatic, it is set up kind of like a traditional rifle, meaning like the stock is like this, not like a full-on adjustable crazy pistol grip AR style stock um, and it's lever action from what I understand it will the rifle will accept just about any AR upper it uses a standard AR 15 style bolt um, basically making it that you can buy this rifle and you know, from what I understand they're going to be in 300 blackout and 556 but you can buy that rifle and then stick just about any upper on it you want regardless of length and uh, caliber as long as it'll except uh you know a standard ar-15 style magazine which is something that really bumps up from being something like this to a true modern tactical lever gun is the fact that you can you now use ar mags so you can use all you know your good reliable mag pull uh, mag stuff like that for this gun you know including drums uh, i saw someone shooting it with a 60 round drum so that definitely beats the capacity of a tube mag on a standard lever action. This is actually something that really interests me. Um, you know, again, it's kind of a FUD gun, kind of a weird thing, and it's definitely not going to be the tactical thing that ever, all the operators go and buy and go on about. But if you're just looking for a fun gun, and, and I hate saying this, but if you're in a state that maybe has restrictions, it's a good idea. Um, I don't really classify it as something built for a state that has restrictions, only because... I really hate when you see companies that kind of like, you know, bow down and make stuff in that way. I mean, I'm sure some people really like it, but for me, I'd rather see people push more for, you know, the unconstitutional gun laws to be removed. Um, I know obviously that's a stretch, but, you know, that's just my personal two cents on it. Um, but, you know, if you're in a restrictive state, this is a really good option because it's pretty much ban proof, as the one person said. You know, lever lever action, you know, it, 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 it pretty much, you know, you can do whatever you want. It has no pistol grip, has no shoulder thing that goes up. Um, it's just a lever action rifle that accepts magazines. But a uh, really neat idea. Uh, it'd be interesting to see them moving forward with it. It'd be interesting to see, uh, you know, if they do different versions. Maybe they do a version, you know, based off like an AR-10 size uh, AR. That'd be really nice. So, but yeah, definitely, it seems like they're about $1,300 MSRP, so not cheap, but, you know, you can imagine that it's kind of a new design, new technology, well, lever actions are new technology, but, you know, slapping it into an AR like this, I'm sure it had to do some engineering to get that to all work, especially with the original AR bolt, which is something I'm really fond of, the fact that they uh, put it so you can use your, basically, from what I understand, and if I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, but it sounds like you can basically just slap whatever AR upper on it you want. Um, but that's my thoughts on it. I, I think at the end of the day, it's it's cool to see weird, wonky innovation like this. You know, again, this is not gonna this is not groundbreaking. This is not gonna be the new fad. And this is not gonna change anything. But if you're someone like me that enjoys you know lever action rifles and the uh, joy the benefits they bring, you're running a suppressor and you run around a super light load that maybe wouldn't necessarily cycle a normal AR, uh, no problem here. You can run a super light load, you can run a super hot load, you know, obviously within reason, but, uh, you know, you can run whatever you load you want and the gun's going to cycle. Um, you know, it, it just makes for a, you know, a more versatile rifle in certain aspects, but definitely kind of cool. Put down below what you think. Do you think that, uh, this rifle is, you know, going to be a cool little thing that's going to be sought after, or do you think it's just kind of a weird anomaly in the market that really doesn't have a place for it? But put down below what you think, and uh, have a good day.